<gasps> Happy Easter! Can we say good morning? We're so glad you're here. If you daily vlog, if you enjoy this, video, make sure you come back every day. I mean, Daddy got you Mr. Potato Head and all those dinosaurs. And look at that basket the Easter Bunny filled for you. What? And the Easter Bunny hid eggs we have to find. Wow. <laughs> so exciting. You see who's in there? Hey! Bluey! <laughs> that was Dad. <laughs> oh, go back in the basket. Mom! Bingo! <laughs> You like them in the basket? Bluey! We're gonna wait until Daddy finished. Oh no! <laughs> until Dad finished breakfast to find eggs, but James just started. <laughs> it's candy! Got some sausage going. Got some muffins, bake, bacon over here. Got a little news while I'm in the kitchen away from the. Bear and James catching up on some things. Eve is enjoying her one of her treats. Her blueberry muffins and uh, breakfast Johnsonville breakfast sausage. Those are like the. A few, I know we said on yesterday's vlog that like we weren't going full Easter, but like those are some staples that Sarah's mom would uh, would make every Easter morning. So we're doing those. They're simple ones. They're nice ones. They're ones we want to do this year. Um, so we'll probably pull all the stops in future years, just taking a relax this year. Um, have some candy, have an Easter parade with Julie Garland on the TV right now. We'll bust out some commandments later. And just having some coffee and starting our day. Muffins. Muffins. <laughs> Look like some butter. Thank you. The next food-based fun is shelling these eggs and see if they are hard-boiled enough to make some deviled eggs out of them. Listen, I get it. I look like a ragamuffin. Wearing the same shirt as yesterday, my hair is whack. It's Easter morning, it's 10 a.m. We don't know if we're leaving the house yet. I got up and started getting stuff ready, but I'm safe, happy to say the hard-boiled eggs de-shelled fine. I was nervous yesterday because I actually have never made hard-boiled eggs before. Um, and I realized I probably could have let them sit for like another minute, maybe like a minute, two minutes more tops to be a little bit more cooked. Um, but I was nervous because I had one extra yesterday that we shelled and it did not shell easily. So I got these because I'm trying to make double eggs with these. So these shelled pretty easily and cleanly. So I'm going to continue this process here. And then I think we might get our day like started with baths and showers and whatnot. I think I'm at the... I'm gonna go on a run with James as long as it's not too cold. I've never gone on a run with him. Our city mini technically is a running stroller. So I'm gonna try to go on like a nice, just two miles, just to test run James running with me because as um, as Teddy arrives and I'm gonna be going on all these long runs and, and just running more frequently that um, it'll be nice if we know that I can bring James with me to not have Sarah be with both babes. I think we're officially staying home for Easter. I think so too.
We tested James for COVID and it was negative. He's still just showing signs of having some sort of bug. Icky sicky bug virus. He also even has like two little pimples on his cheek. Um, so we're just gonna watch Bluey. He's just gonna go and run. He made his deviled eggs. We're just like chilling. Peter and I's noses are also runny. Here, hopefully it was allergies. We're sad. We decided on having a low-key Easter. We didn't think it was gonna be this low-key. <laughs> Oh gosh. Daddy riding on your shoulders. <laughs> New page? New page. This is my letter, dweebs. You gotta train for Squamish. Check it out. You know, this is a, you call an April Chicago win. It's windy. It's just about freezing. It's like 35, I think. Probably below freezing with wind, but it's sunny and there's no ice anywhere, and the skyline looks beautiful. So I call that a win. Just doing 5K, like Sarah said before I lost. New page. Uh, she also kind of jokingly, but not jokingly, said she's gonna have to go plant based too because um, I might need her to have to be that support. Because um, I'm like an all or nothing, and it's, it's easier for me to sleep uh, slip up when there's the non plants big things, but plant-based things. But we'll talk about that later, Sarah and I. Um, yeah. Uh, if you guys have been around since my first dopey training, when I first really became a runner, um, I ran a lot. I ran frequently. We talked about it a lot. We've shown it frequently. And that's what we're going to be doing here because unlike when we did the first dopey, I had time then. I had not as many responsibilities. Now I got a baby, another baby coming. Still working, still being a good husband, or aspiring to be. So um, to add significantly more running than I had to for the, my first dopey, all around all that, it's gonna be a lot of challenges, maneuvering and game planning, probably a lot of early morning runs, weekend runs with James, all that good stuff. So, but it's now or never, you know? It's either now or I gotta, call Squamish and I've been wanting to do Squamish for since 2018 basically and I got in so it's time to book the airline tickets on the non-reserved path and just run just get the time on the feet you know I told you the other day there were some boats back we got one two three four five six seven eight about ten they're coming back Slowly but surely, Belmont Harbor's waking up. I am shaved and showered. Don't stink. Sarah put James down for a nap. Um, I think I might put on Ten Commandments maybe now. Might pour me a glass of bourbon. Eat a little candy. Maybe even deviled egg. Maybe watch Bluey. It's pretty early on Sunday still, but I think the world's our oyster. First day at home. When your child has a, a bug. Right, Sarah? Sarah just came out of James' room like foggy eyed because she might have dozed off putting James down for a nap. We have a relaxing Sarah. We got Ten Commandments. And in honor of Sarah's mom calling us the thirstiest generation, I have a big cup of water, a lemon San Pellegrino, and a bourbon drink. I'm not drinking the uh, bubbles right here, but they're there. I mean, if I really get desperate. Peekaboo. I'm not sure why James is being okay with blankets on him. He's never yeah. worn a blanket. One moment in his life has he wanted a blanket on him. Mm -hmm. Cozy. Easter miracle. <laughs> We've taken a break. Um, we're in intermission. Intermission. This song is going to drive me crazy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ten Commandments. Also classic Easter because like my mom would be like doing stuff. And you'd be like asleep on the couch like a lazy sack of bones. And I'd be like, can you please switch the DVD? Because you couldn't just stand up and walk 10 feet while your mom was like cooking everything in the world. Wow. 
I mean, I would not just be sleeping on the couch. That would only be like two hours. I'd be eating. <laughs> <laughs> we think we're going to go with this place that has been taunting us in our mm -hmm. neighborhood for years called Ping Pong. We're going to go with two Appies because one's going to be kind of James's. It's going to be the. What are we going with? We're going to do vegetable dumplings. Pork or veggie? Veggie. Vegetable dumplings. Grill. And lettuce, lettuce cups. cups. And then I'm going to get the chow mein. Mm -hmm. With brown rice and BBQ pork. And I think I'm gonna get the, I don't know how to pronounce that, bulgogi. Bulgogi. Korean Flank steak with sweet meat. onions, kikkoman, and kimchi. That sounds good. Can I have some of that? Yeah, we can share everything. Is there any fancy desserts? It's Easter. There are. Oh, great wall brick, baked chocolate, graham cracker crust, coconut pecans, green tea ice cream. That sounds like you in a nutshell. I'm not a big fan of green tea ice cream, actually. Yeah. The hard part about this I is like we're taking all this to go. We're all we're taking this all for home. Yeah. So like a dessert would be hard. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> He's mad at me because like I, if you watched yesterday's vlog and saw that I poured this bag of like balls on him, I've tied up the bag so he can't access them. It's a bean bag, but not as fine. What are you doing with this? Ooh. This is Ping Pong. We've passed this eight zillion times. This is a good amount of food. Uh-huh. I'm so excited about it. We but we to have to eat in there yeah, soon. After going in there, I want to yeah. eat like 10 times more. Mm -hmm. And nobody's in there right now. Yeah. Just and it's cold, so it feels this away and very in nice and warm in there. If James didn't have a runny nose, I'd say let's eat in there. All right, we've got vegetable steamed pet stickers. We have some brown rice, some chicken, and fried vegetables to go in the lettuce. Uh, I forgot what that's for, but then we've got my chow mein and Sarah's. What do you get with the steak again? Yeah, green steak. Green steak. Take two. Ready? Set. Love your excited raise the roof. <laughs> you love it? Did you miss your ball pit? We haven't used it in so long because we've been using it for the sensory bin. Still watching Bluey if you were curious. Hi girlie. Do you have a good Easter? Oh gosh, it was exhausting. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Did you have a good day? It did. It felt long, but felt non-existent. Yeah. And I feel like you've been saying, like, after this weekend, we're going to get things together. Now the weekend's over. <laughs> now we have to get things together. <laughs> we have to get things together. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.